Hello, hello. Uh, just doing a little sediment processing out here and was um, <clears throat> thinking of doing this, uh, making a sigil with some of these, uh, the sediments. It's kind of a common practice that, that I do to use the dust and silts um, to make some shapes. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. That was the whole thought that I had is, is that, oh, well, I'm gonna do this um, for today with these sediments after processing. Uh, that I should um, share that. And so here's a you know little demo on something I do with the sediments. My one ounce vials. I just simply take a square of tin foil. And I give it a fold. So it has kind of a peak there. And then just um, <clears throat> rubber band. Or you can see this one I used a hair tie. That's what was handy. Um, put that on. Then um, depends on the grain of the sediment. You know, some holes you want a little bigger or thinner, depending on uh, how big the sediment grains are. Uh, then give that a little lift to you. The idea is it's kind of like the the hole, the funnel in which all the sediment comes out, right? This is pretty fine, and I want it to come out in a nice shape, a nice stream, so there we go. Uh, Lucky Sucker, some um, Ruby Soft, Tough Leslie, Crooked Red, and um, the Silver City Sand, which I'm going to use for kind of the base, um, and um, this this sigil or, or mantra that's used today is while collecting the Thunder Babies, which of course um, have this rich representation of endings becoming new beginnings. And here is a, <clears throat> I guess, a charged symbol, um, a sigil if you prefer, um, to welcome the sediment thunder babies.
to our collection. And, um, you know, this is something that can be, <clears throat> can be meditative, can be used to, you know, to charge good luck symbols, um, you know, to charge, uh, money spells, can't, you know, charms, I, I don't know, you know, like, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you can imagine. I imagine a lot of things, I don't know. So, um do you know do what comes naturally to you as in as with a whole lot of um, different form different different magic or different you know feelings I guess in chaos magic specifically and um, but uh, there we go that's what I love to use uh, my sediments for and um, you know this is a magical uh, symbol that has its meaning to to me and to my my place today. Here's my you know, spiraling shirt, beginnings and, and endings today. Whole lot of whole lot of symbolism of the day. But um, also, you know, the reason why I love working with these rather than say some spices that are different colors or something is that um, each of these have. This is earth. You know, this is earth, and this has a long, long, uh, crazy ass geologic history. Um, you know, some of this younger stuff that came out of a huge explosive eruption, 650 times the size of Mount St. Helens, about 13 to 15 million years ago, out of the Rooster Cone Caldera, the Leslie Tuff, you know, the, um, the billions of years old uh, dolomites and uh, metasedimentary rocks of the Archean Ruby Range of Montana, with it has um, some, some contact metamorphosed scarn deposits of this mineral talc this really really pure beautiful talc that there's a talc mine up there that I collect spoils of this, this sediment um, the the Idaho batholith um, the big beautiful amazing granitic batholith and just some really really wonderful um, river sand here Cretaceous age batholith that's eroding into this sparkling mica feldspar rich sand that I'm in love with. Uh, the lucky sucker eruption, you know, or really <laughs> eruption, but I mean this is these are these are sisters. These are sister sister brother relationship to me, to the archetypes that I that I see and, and use. These are sisters sister ashes, um, sibling ashes. Uh, about the same timing and eruptions. You can look at the, the modern research if you'd like to, but uh, it's just, it's alteration, um, apparently, that, that uh, in geography that tell the two apart, but uh, formerly known as the Tuff of Spring Creek um, and Sucker Creek. And then uh, lastly, one of the other most recent additions besides um, the, the Thunder Babies today to accent things like this is uh, the crooked, crooked red, which I'm really, really proud of. This was collected the other day with um, all the kids on a really cool camping trip out uh, by the Crooked River, um, having a lot of fun and a place that I've wanted to go back to for for a long, long time. Uh, it's 40 something million years old eruptions of the Clarno um, unit. Um, well, not really eruptions, I shouldn't say, but there is volcanics in that whole Clarno mix of formations. But this happens to be an old soil um, that formed during that time, a soil that was um, an oxisol or, a, or an oxidized um, soil with a lot of aluminum and iron left over in the upper portion of the soil. Um, so it was a really, really deeply weathered profile soil. Our, you know, probably in, in showing us the chlorped analysis, showing us that that was a tropical environment, or at least a very wet and warm environment um, here in Oregon, 40 some odd million years ago. Um, and so it's it's using it's using these symbols and and this and this focus and this meditative process in combination with being able to use these sediments, say for this, you know, or, or to take this and to use this as an offering, you know, after I'm done with this, this charged sigil, um, you know, I can, I can wipe this off into a, um, you know, onto a container and, you know, whether this is mine or, or for family church or a, um, maybe just a random offering somewhere in the yard, 
um, can be used, you know, afterwards as well, and um, keep it in the cycle. Uh, anyhow, that's what's uh, going on this afternoon. Man, that one was really, really long. I think I'm going to have to, yeah, 11 minutes. I'll fast forward a lot of that, but uh, see you later. Hope you're a sediment lover like me.